Hey gypsies and welcome to my get ready with me vlog. So just want to say I'm going to be coloring my hair but I'm not going to show you guys the whole coloring process but what I am going to show you guys is this is the one that won out over the two that I had asked opinions on. So this is the Revlon Deep Burgundy number 34. I'm excited but a little nervous. I know it's probably going to be a little dark but that's okay because I love new things. So anyway, what I'm going to do is set up my camera in the bathroom. I've got my coloring shirt on, so I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go set up my camera. I'm just going to um, show you guys me getting it all prep prepared. And then I'll show like when I get it all on my hair. That way this video will not be too awful long. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys this is the one that we're going to be doing today. So I'll be right back when I get everything fixed up. Okay, guys, sorry I'm all up in your grill like this, but that's the only way I can fix my camera here. I'm just going to take a step back. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Happy Monday. Hope you guys are having a great day. So I have this right here. Mm, and this is the Cream Color Developer. I've done it so many times I really don't really need to read directions except how long to leave it on. This is the number two, the color itself. And then we have your rubber gloves and the directions. And then this is the conditioner you use when you're all done, which I'll be putting in my shower because after I get done, um, I'm going to be jumping in the shower to rinse it all off. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is take some scissors and cut the tip off of this developer never know where that tip goes take the lid off okay i'm gonna take the color itself open it up and i'm gonna pour it right on in here i'm always amazed at how something that color can end up looking so dark <laughs> So I'm going to put my makeup on with you guys today. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on. And I'm going to put my gloves on. And then I'm just going to shake it up really good and apply it to my hair. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'll be back after I get it all on just to show you how it's looking. Okay, guys, I have it on and woo-wee. Okay, so I'm going to wait. It said about, it said 25 minutes if you have like resistant gray. I know I have some gray in there, so I've been wiping down like around my face and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and, and set my timer in here for 20 minutes. So all that wiping down and this little video here will end up being close to 25. Then I'm going to jump in the shower. So the next time you see me, I'll have a towel on my head getting ready to put my makeup on. So anyway... Just wanted to show you guys how it looks. I've often thought of throwing some on my eyebrows, but I know they say not to do that. So I've never done it. So, but yeah, I feel like that'd be a little much anyway. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go listen to some Demi Lovato for about 20 minutes. Then I'm jumping in the shower. So I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, guys, so it's been like 23 minutes. I'm, I got the shower running. I am a little nervous. Can I just say, let me get in here in the light. It looks pretty darn dark. <laughs> it looks really dark. Oh, boy. Okay, so getting in the shower. See you guys in a minute. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I haven't looked at it without the towel on, although I do see some pieces sticking out here. Um, it looks really dark. I'm super excited though. Um, someone had suggested that I do the lighter color now and then in the fall time um, do the darker. I thought about that and then I'm like, no, I went with like, because uh, uh, I took polls on um, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok and like the majority the high majority was number two so I'm like okay I told them that whatever they pick I'm gonna do so I went ahead and did number two I'm super excited to see how it looks though so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get some makeup on um, I'm just gonna do this as quick as possible um, I'm gonna do my brown 
look with the gold highlight today. Someone had requested that. So uh, before I do that, let me give a couple shout outs. Um, just the ones that I can re uh, have written down here. Um, I want to shout out Aunt B. Yes, Aunt B, baby. Um, these are all my queenagers. So yes, um, actually I consider everybody a queenager unless you're a teenager. Um, so Aunt B, Pat from Alabama. Hey Pat, hey Aunt B. Sharon in Maryland. Hey Sharon, and that's the last one. Yes, that's the last one because I did the other one yesterday. So, hey, Aunt B, Pat, and Sharon. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and be, for being a queenager, a gypsy queenager, right? Okay, guys. So, let me go ahead and get started. Um, I just want to say also that all of my, no, not all, a lot of my items, and I'll tell you which ones as I go, are actually on my... Um, in the description box there I have an Amazon what is it my Amazon favorites yes my Amazon favorites so all of my favorite items I've listed on there in case you're interested so yeah this right here I'm pretty sure is on there I use this every day I'm just gonna use it till it's gone I don't think it's gonna be like a, a staple that I'm gonna keep buying just because I've got other moisturizers that I need to use up so this is the st. Ives it's the water glowing watermelon moisturizer so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of that on it it's, smells just like watermelon I love it I know I say that every time, but every time I smell it, I think it. I'm like, oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. Okay, so there's that. Always moisturize. I probably should have something that has an SPF, but honestly, I avoid the sun. I was gonna say like a plague, but <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna utter that. I did utter it, didn't I? Anyway, I avoid the sun at all costs. Let's just say that. I avoid it. I avoid it, baby. Okay, so next I'm going to put on a little bit of primer. And uh, a lot of my stuff comes from Dollar Tree. So this right here is from Dollar Tree. It's the Hard Candy Perfecting Primer. This is like the best primer I've ever used in my life. I absolutely love it. Now, not all hard candy primers feel the same. I did find that out. Some of them feel a little bit different. This one right here feels as smooth as a baby's booty. Let me just say, it's so soft and silky. I absolutely love it. So, yes, I love it. Okay. And I'm going to show you. I mean, I, I never thought of this trick. I saw... I don't know who I was watching. I have no idea. But I saw them do this little trick. And I'm like, that is awesome. I love it. So, you might already do it. You might already know about it. But I've never even thought about it before. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of lip balm on. Just because my lips feel a little bit dry. Let's see. This is kind of my lip. Although, I got lip, I got lip stuff everywhere, honestly. So, this is just, this is kind of sparkly. This is Wet n Wild Natural Blend Lip Shimmer. I'm just going to use it just as a lip balm right now. If I can get it open. My hand's got the primer on. Hold on. Bear with me. Uh, let me tell you our plans for the day. Uh, I got Jack in there in the tub. I can see her, so... Um, and then me and her are going to get ready. We're going to go get us something to drink. Like, I'll probably get a coffee. Although, I've been trying to lay off midday. I haven't had one midday in a long time. So, I'm going to go ahead and get me one. See how I feel this evening as, you know, as far as blood pressure goes. And we're going to go. i got something to mail out. I've got to go to the bank. And I've got to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. So, yes. I feel like there was something... Yeah, I'm going to get me some Slim Fast shakes, <laughs> honestly. Some Strawberry Slim, slim Fast. I'm going to start having one of those. <sighs> it's a struggle, guys. It's a struggle. Okay, so this is the new, and I actually put this on TikTok. Like, this is amazing. I, I don't even know. This is $11 on Amazon, 11 bucks. Now, the other day, the last time I did a Get Ready With Me, I had a different color. It was a little bit darker. I felt it was a little too dark for me, so I ordered me another one. This is absolutely the perfect color for me, and um, I got the other one put down in here because during the summer, I tend to get a little bit of sun, so whenever I get just a, a shade darker, I will, you know, just go ahead and 
pull that back out but as of right now this color right here is perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and get some on I got my fan going I'm always one step away from catching on fire like it's true it's true um, so yeah that's Claire uh, Catrice HD coverage lasts up to 25 uh, 25 hours 24 hours and it's mattifying and this is in the color light beige so this is how I've been doing it and this has been working for me so I'm just gonna go with the flow just a little there a little there oh oop. I don't want to go too crazy here okay all right that way none of it gets wasted like it's all right on my skin right now okay and then i'm going to show you let me get it blended in and i'm going to show you that little trick that i have learned to love which is pretty amazing so anyway this is the brush i'm using right now um this is a boxy charm i think it was made especially for boxy charms i love this thing so i'm going to go ahead and get this blended in let me get my mirror which needs a darn good cleaning but you know how that goes I mean, I'm not sure if you paid attention to my redness on my cheek and my chin. But this stuff is amazing. Okay, I'm just going to blend it in really good here. Let's make sure to blend it really good. I actually did a before and after shot on TikTok, and it was pretty... I don't know if I put that on Instagram or not. Honestly, I can't remember, but I absolutely love this stuff. My eyes look kind of reddish. Probably allergies. Okay. There we go. Now, my new tip, trip, trick, and tip. See my chest? See how it's... You know, this is like the only area that ever gets sun, like, for the past 53 years basically so what i do do a little bit there take my blender brush blend it in hold on i've never even thought about this before until i saw that one person do it and i'm like uh that's a great idea and i think it was like maybe somebody about my age that did it boom look at that like loving that trick loving it okay Next, I'm going to put on this right here. This is Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is from, May is it Maybelline? It's a corrector, multi-use corrector. Cool Ivory. Um, I thought it was Maybelline. Oh, there it is. Maybelline, yes. So, I've been noticing like through here is like darker. Sometimes it even looks like I have a black eye. So I've just been trying to um, just put a little bit of this there. I know it doesn't help a lot, but even if it takes it down one shade, it's going to look a little bit better than it did. So, and then what I do is just take the tip of my blending brush, which I need to get my new one out and get rid of this old thing. I just take the tip and just kind of blend it. So it just looks a shade lighter at least. Anyway, that's what I do. And now I'm going to use some eyeshadow primer. If I can find it. <coughs> Here it is. This um, is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Honestly, I'm just using this because I have it until it's gone. Um, I feel like Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. Anything you can get. Oh, I, thought, I was thinking I put it on the wrong spot. Um anything like I think even hard candy does I mean does it necessarily have to be eyeshadow primer I don't know like will regular primer do I just don't know like I don't I just started using eyeshadow primer because like I was watching Bailey Sarian and she used eyeshadow primer so I'm like I need to use eyeshadow primer so anyway I'm using eyeshadow primer now so I just kind of blend that in okay let me look at myself in this Okay, next. Mm. 
I got my new Turby twist on. I love that. I just love that thing. Yeah, it's a little bit different from the one I ordered on Amazon, actually. It's a little bit stretchier, which is kind of cool. And it's a little bit bigger. And the consistency of it's a little bit thinner. So, I mean, I don't mind. It, it works great. I love it. Uh, I'm going to put some blush on. Let's see here. This is my blush. I've got so many. What is this? I found this last night when I was, I was organizing an area of my bedroom. And I found this. And I'm like, what all is in this? Um... Bite your kiss. What does that mean? Bite your kiss? S and G? I don't really know, honestly. I think I got this like in a boxy charm bag or something like that. Up. I don't even know. I don't even feel like. I don't know. Like the lid. Maybe it's old. But it looks pretty, it looks new. Hold on. Oh, it's nail polish. It's nail polish, guys. Look. <laughs> That's pretty, too, actually. Bite your kiss. I guess they're running out of names to, to name stuff, right? Okay, so there's that. And then I got Dewy Sticks from Ciate. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Dewy Sticks. Enriched with Muru Muru Butter. Sheer universal glow let's see what this is all about Ooh, pretty i don't know dewy sticks let's see oh okay so is that a highlighter it looks like it could be a highlighter guys i don't know i thought i'd just pull these out while i was doing my makeup today glide this bomb onto cheekbones brow bones cupid's bow that's your cupid's bow in case you didn't know anywhere you would naturally hit your face with the light all right, we'll do it. Why not? Okay, so and this is a really cute little bag. I was loving it. Anyway, let me go ahead and get my blush on. I'm just going to use this right here. This is the Fox in a Box Hard Candy. It's a blush, but it sort of has a highlighter in it too, but that doesn't bother me. I just feel like, my, like I'm like wedding okay I'm trying to get in those hollows there's not much of a hollow but try to make them more hollow right <laughs> okay I don't do much contour, honestly. <laughs> All right, there's that. Now what I'm gonna do, powder, powder baby. Wait a minute, I lost the bag, there it is. <coughs> <coughs> okay, this is what I've been using, the loose powder from Cody, Airspun loose powder, it smells so good. Just reminds me of the 80s, you know, it just, and it comes with a powder puff. Oh, that smell. Like, I can remember that like it was yesterday. Sitting on my bed, putting my makeup on. I always put it on. My bed. My bed. My room. Get ready for school. This, I need to wash this whole thing. Okay, blended good enough. All right. Next, we have is it no polish. That no polish should be really pretty on toes. <laughs> you knew I was gonna say it, didn't you? Okay, this is Hard Candy Highlighter. Let me look at this highlighter. Let me just go across like. I thought about that before. Hmm, I don't know. 
I'm just used, oh, see, now it feels, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Wish I hadn't done that. It feels kind of greasy, honestly. Ew. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, uh, UP, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. UPS came and somebody knocked and I'm like, who is that? So anyway, um, yeah, this feels, I much would rather have a powder. This feels kind of greasy, but I feel like it looks decent. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Normally, I've been using this right here, although I have like 5,000 highlighting things. Uh, UPS brought this, so I'm just going to see what it is, and that way I can show you guys. Y'all might want to see what it is. It might be something I want to show you guys, so I don't know. I have no idea what it is, honestly. I can't remember. And I got a box over here, too. I thought I might rip into that as well. appropriate so this is something that I had seen on Bailey Sarian's channel how funny is that I forgot I even ordered that actually I ordered one and I think I threw it away because it was in the bottom of something I think it just got hid um, but this is the essence lash princess it is it was like 495 guys and it's a Disney princess collection from essence okay turn that off so hold on Okay, so, yeah, so I'm like, let me try this. So I'll put this on today. We'll see how it works. And then let me dig into this box really quick so you can see what's in here. Why not? I don't know what I ordered. I know, we're right in the middle of getting ready, but that's how I go. Like, I just jump from one thing to another. I never, I never finish anything, although I am going to finish. Oh, yeah, appropriate as well. Because normally, whenever I do order these, I put them on right before I start putting my makeup on. I felt like my teeth were starting to get kind of dingy-ish again. A lot, lot, the last time I bought these, I really loved the way that they work. These are actually listed in my Amazon favorites as well. So, it's, I don't know if that mascara is, but I'll try to make sure it is before I post this video. But this, like, this works really well for whitening your teeth, and the my tooth sensitivity was not bad at all. I tried to make sure when I did brush my teeth, I used a uh, sensitive toothpaste, you know, for that, but, like, I did not have any problems with this, and it worked really well. And it says it's a one-week treatment, and that is actually doing it twice a day. I don't have time for that, so I just did it like once a day, and I was really happy with the results. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of those. I won't use it today, though, but I really do like those. Those are really good. Okay. <coughs> Let me go ahead and get ready for brows. I mean, I feel like I need a darker brow today. Because of this color, I can't wait to see the color, honestly. Let's see. Brows. This is all my pencil. This has got so many different things in it. Like, so many different things. My little tiny mirror, which is pretty awesome. Um, my tweezers. I'm just getting the stuff out of here that I typically use every day. Where's my brow pencil? That's not it. That tricks me every day. Okay, and then my tweezers, just in case. Sometimes I don't need them because I try to tweeze like every day just to keep keep the shape of my brow good. So sometimes I don't need them. Sometimes I do. And sometimes I can't find my tweezers. Because this bag's so darn full. Shoot. I see a lid from something flying around in there, so. Where are they there? Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at my brows. I'm using this like 10 times. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, so I had to send my husband a quick text there. So this is the um brow definer that I use. It's Maybelline Total Temptation. I think most of my stuff is either Maybelline or Hard Candy. So Maybelline Total Tem Temptation Brow Definer. This is a medium brow. This is a little bit darker. I'm actually out of my light brown anyway, so it's fitting that I colored my hair today and I have a darker color. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. 
Yeah, I see a couple strays. I'll get those after I... So basically, I outline my brows first, as you guys have seen before. I may go a little past the lash line, or the brow line, just to give it a little extra length. Try to make a straight line. Okay, same thing on the other side. Okay. Whew. Okay. Now, what do I do with those? I do have a couple, like two over here. And it's that light, you know, that light is just great for. I don't set this up every day when I put my makeup on, although I probably should. Um, Alright, I think we're good. So, there's that. I feel like it needs to be even darker. I don't know. Like, I don't know. We'll see, won't we? We shall see. Okay. There's that. Now eyeshadow. I can't believe I'm so hot right now, honestly. Let me use this. I think this is my temporary tags for my Jeep. They actually had to send me another pair or another set of tags because um, Westford, the, the, I just don't, still don't have mine. And mine ran out like May 27th or something. And like, I've been running around with expired temporary tags. How crazy is that? Okay, let's get in with some eyeshadow. So, uh, obviously, I'm going to use a Morphe palette. Like, that's my all-time fave, Morphe palettes. Um, I got a couple different ones that I'm going to go use today, simply because this is a really good one for browns. I've had this one the longest. It is the All Into... These are all these are all on my um, Amazon too. All into something frost, I think. It's just it's um, it's so old and it's like well worn and I love it and I like use it all the time. As you can see, it's wonderful. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start out with this one right here. Um. So, let's see. I'm going to you. I got a like a fairly clean little thing here. So I'm trying to figure out which one I used the other day. I'm pretty sure it was this one right here. Um, this is in the color. I just like to tell you guys the color. Gem. And show you. It's like a frosty brown. So I'm gonna use that on my crease. So when I get done with my makeup, I'm going to go fix my hair, but I'm not going to fix my hair with you guys on here. So whenever I come back, my hair will be fixed so you'll get to see the color and it being fixed at the same time. I was hoping, and I am still hoping, that, um, that it didn't damage my hair. I know, you know, every time you color your hair, it damages it some, but like hopefully it didn't damage it too bad. 
Honestly, I have got sweat all over my face. This is ridiculous. Hold on. All right, I got my air on 71. Like, I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Like, even my little applicator here is damp now. All right, so I put it underneath, and I put a crease, and then I put it halfway over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. down a little too far. It's okay. Just a reminder, if you guys order any of my merch, please send me a picture of you in it because I want to post it at the end of videos. I love that. I just love getting you guys involved. And like, we are queenagers and proud of it. Queenager and proud of it, right? Like all of us Queenagers are going to meet up at the beach or something one day. Gosh, don't that sound like fun? Like I'm, I'm in. One of these days, Queenager reunion at the beach. Wow, I think I'm thinking something up here. Like totally. Okay, so there's that. So what I'm going to do is I have a little brush here. I always um, kind of dust off any particles that have fallen underneath. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go in on the highlighting on the outside, which I usually, well, I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just use this. Oh, hold on. I'm having a catastrophe over here. Okay. I'm just going to use this color. This is almost out, but the color that I'm using is called Starlight. What a great name. Okay, so, there's what color it is. So this is gonna be what I'm gonna blend, and so I'm gonna start right here, and then I'm just gonna go all around the outside edge of that, and up to my brow. My brow. My brow. Okay, I'm crazy. Losing it, guys. So just, that's basically just to blend it, okay? Do the same thing on the other side. I need a lipstick bad. Okay. So that's pretty blended. Now, inner corner. So I like to use the very lightest that I have. I'm just gonna use everything from this one palette. It's called Visible. And I'm just gonna use the same light side that I just did the highlighting on the brow to kind of get into this color here and go like right there. Just like that. But I also am going to be following that inner corner up with a little something else that I have. That honestly I need to order some more of because it's almost out. I always have trouble getting it. Like, hold on one second. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead. Just look at my little mirror here so I can blend it just a little bit better. Okay, so that's that's pretty decent. So basically, let me I'm just gonna get a little bit more on the tip, the very tip right here, and just go I, I just like it on my inside corner right there. I don't know, I just think it gives a good little shine. Right on that inside corner. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do with that. Let me take that brush underneath here again. All right, let me just close this palette since I didn't use it. This is probably one of my favorites as well. I don't know, these two these two together are the bomb. Like anything with like frosty, I just love the frosty look. I think it's the 80s girl in me coming out. I know whenever I go to, um, 
put on my liner and stuff, I'm going to need that little thing. So I'm just going to go ahead because I feel like, honestly, this is just a little bit too dark, too light. Anybody watch any good movies like on Netflix or anything here lately? Like I need a good movie to watch. I've been watching, what if I, did I watch something the other day? What was it? I don't even think that was Netflix. I don't know. I just need a good movie movie. Okay, so there's that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, let me put my bottom liner on. This is my, I, I mean, I'm not, not recommending this at all. Like, I just use it because I have it. Um, this is Stay In Line. Oh, this is hard candy. Mechanical gel liner. That's what it looks like. Just a little roll-up liner. I just use this on my bottom lashes. Because I'm an 80s girl, you know, you got to have them black bottom, bottom lashes. By the way, I've been working on, um... Trying to bring back the 80s, yeah, for all you queenagers. Okay. Let's get some lipstick. I look like Kermit the Frog turned inside out right now. I'm going to use one of my faves. This one, I'm also giving one of these away in my um, giveaway that we did, the, the hop. The Dollar Tree Hop. This is the Broadway color matte lip lacquer in the color One Fine Day. I love this. This is so pretty. This is perfect. It's like a dark mauve. I just really love it. Okay. I don't know. I'm not liking, liking it right now. I don't know why. Why? Why is that? Okay, guys. Next, I'm going to put on... I'm going to put on my liquid liner for on the top first, and then I'm going to add a little bit more to the shadow part. So I got this hard candy, yes, Stroke of Gorgeous Color Liquid Liner. This is in the color bat Black to Basic, so there's that. So I'm just going to make me a little line with the wing. Nothing too dramatic. She says as she makes a wing out to her ear, right? Can't. Can you see? Okay. Your wings will never match exactly. I don't know. Maybe yours do. My wings never match exactly. They're, they come close sometimes, but never exactly. Just like both sides of your hair will never look exactly the same, right? Only mine. That was the name of the movie I watched. I don't even know. I don't think I finished it on Netflix. It's pretty good. Yeah, I was getting into it. Only mine. Um, next, let me show you guys. 
where is it so I got most of my mascaras and stuff in here and also that little highlighting this is from Stilla this came in a pack of three and I've used these to death and I love them all so this is the three pack that they came in yeah like one looks more gold one looks more like rose gold and then that this one has a lot of purple so like I'm really loving these um, but they are definitely running out so I'm gonna have to order me some I'm gonna use the one that's more gold so this is probably the most emptiest one of all but Jack don't get anything wet please okay so basically Trouble getting it up on the. Oop, oop. Flipping out. I have trouble getting it up on the sponge. I don't even know. Guys. I can see where it's touching. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what just happened. I feel like I did something. Eek. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I got it. Some came out like this should be interesting. All right, I got some on there, so I'm gonna go in there. You'll see, you'll see. Just because this is so bright and vibrant, I love it on the inners. See that? See how bright that is? just great I love that and then I think there's some on this other side I'm gonna go for actually I got some on my finger here I don't know how I, I managed that but I, oh oh that was a clump and I don't know where it went my husband might have some sparkles on his side of the bed later like he should be used to that by now because I'm always getting sparkles on his side of the bed I definitely I mean, that's actually like the price of that is like a little bit more than I like to pay but honestly I like it so good and it just goes on good and it's like oh no so there it is isn't it great sometimes I try to just do just like one little thing on each side Okay, so there is that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that. We're gonna test this this mascara out really quick. Look at my finger. That's great, isn't it? That's great. So let me wipe this off, and then we're gonna test that mascara out. And then I'm gonna put some lashes on, and I'm gonna go do my hair. Super excited. Okay. Wow, like, yes. I don't know. I hope it's not on the bed too bad. All right, put that over there. Let's open this up. I mean, Disney Princess Mascara, how great is that? And I love the packaging. Let me show you guys a little better. Look at this packaging. It's, like, really cute. This one is in, uh, they have different ones, okay? This is Snow White, and they definitely have different ones. I, I didn't know which one to choose. First of all, look at that. How neat is that? It's kind of rubbery feeling. Look at that, and then there's Snow White on the front, and it says Snow White here, and this is in the color. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, anyway, um, this is in the color it says false lash effect b-i-b-o is that a color made in luxembourg frankfurt and it says i don't know it's it's essence is the name of the company i don't even see where it says a color honestly unless that b-i-b-o is a color right there you can see that okay so let's see what it looks like like the brush is everything, you know. Oh, ooh, I kind of like that brush. I've never seen a brush bent like that. Like, can you see that? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Let's let's try it out. 
Let's just try her out and see how it is. I just usually put a light coat. Wow, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, most mascaras are not, you know, I mean, mascara is mascara, but sometimes you can run into a really good one or a really bad one. Honestly, I was surprised when I used my Great Lash Mascara how bad it really was since I grew up using that. Well, not grew up, but, you know, yeah, like, I use that, like, all... In my teen years, put my makeup on. I'm videoing. All right, so there's that. Um, let me put one more coat on the top, even though I'm putting lashes on. Just to kind of give you a gist of how this mascara works. I like it. I don't know if you can tell or not. Like... Is that all right so I mean do I recommend it I mean it's okay I don't feel like it's anything to rave about I think it's okay you know it'll work it'll do the job so let me go ahead and get some fake lashes um those were big I'm not gonna wear those I gotta be in a special mood to wear the absolutely humongous ones you know what I'm saying like these these are like absolutely humongous <laughs> so those are just a little bit, I don't know, I feel like those are too tiny. I don't know. And these I feel like were too long. I'm going to cut these off. Like, these are dodo lashes. Um, yeah. I mean, they 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 work okay. They work okay. I felt like they were a little bit too long. So, I'm going to trim them up before. I've usually, I've only trimmed one other pair of lashes. Usually, I never have to. So, like, for me to trim a lash, it has to be pretty long. But I just have this lash glue. It's basic stuff. Alright. Yeah, I felt like they were kind of trying to get in my... The corner of my eye just kind of poking me yesterday all day. And I'm like, I don't like this. I do not like this. So this is the black eyelash glue, which is kind of cool. Especially if you use, you know, if you got a dark, smoky eye, use a black liner. Although, you know, even the other kind, they um, they dry clear, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I got my lip glue on. I'm gonna blow it just a little bit till it gets a little tacky. Now, I'm just going to place it middle first, okay, and then the ends down. That's just the easiest for me, and get it as close to your real lashes as possible. And these are not out outlandishly big, but I feel like they're nice looking, so, like, they just add a little extra pop. I guess. Alright, so let me trim this one really quick. I just did a little, just a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it's almost time, guys. I'm getting really excited. Really excited. But nervous. Totally. 
I've got some, um, well, I did the conditioner that, you know, they give you to do that. And then I also put some three minute miracle from Aussie on there and left it in just as a little extra. And then I'm going to use that Hask spray, which also is a leave-in conditioner, detangler, heat protectant. This is a little bit of everything. And yeah, that's going to be cool. And then I'm going to hope for the best. Honestly, it's all I can do, right? How many times do I say honestly already in this video? Honestly, how many? Okay, right in the middle. On down, close to the lash line. And boom. Easiest thing in the world is to put lashes on. And that's not something I thought I would ever say because I always love the looks of them, but I'm like, that's nothing I could ever do, but totally can do it. Totally. Just a little practice, and it don't even take much practice. So if you like makeup, I'll get you some lashes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead, and the next time you see me, my hair will be fixed, and you can see the ta-da color of it. Be back. Okay, guys, so I've just took the towel off. I blow-dried it, and I've got my curling iron here. I'm going to do a little bit of something to it. I love it. I love it. It's very dark. Um, it's kind of lighter on the top, and then it gets down to darker. But we're gonna call we're gonna call that ombre. We're gonna act like I meant to do that, right? That's just how it is. Like when you have a lot of roots and stuff. But honestly, I really like the way it looks. I like that it's lighter and goes down to a darker. And I'm just really digging it. So yeah, I got my handy dandy. A lot of you guys were asking about this thing. It is a Infinity Pro by Conair. I got on the website, um, Walmart, to see if I could find it, just to put it in my favorites. I put one sort of like it, but it's actually not the same. So, I don't know, I couldn't find one just like this. It might be old. So anyway, I'm burning up here. Um, I've got my Hask stuff. I sprayed that on first. Let me show you guys in case you missed my Walmart haul. This right here is Hask Argon Oil 5-in-1 um, Leave-In Spray. Conditions and detangles. It's also a heat protectant. So, yeah. So, this thing is like hot all over. So, it can, you can kind of curl if you want to. Um, so, I'm going to try to get me a little height in here. I'm going to try to get me a couple of, not really, well, maybe a couple little... See, if you wrap it around like that, you can kind of get a, you know, curl it kind of around your face if you want to. I don't have my contacts in, so I can't really see right now. Very good. So anyway, I just want to show you guys. So I'm just kind of lifting it up as I go, just trying to get a little height in there. And I also have some putty stuff I'm going to put in just for a little extra height. But yeah. This part here is the part that always kind of never does right for me. Like, it just never does. I don't know. It just kind of separates. Like, even after I get it going, it just kind of separates. Like, during the day. I just feel so hot right now. I can't really focus on much. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so hot. Well, I do. <sighs> I do. I'm going to show you guys this putty stuff I got. Fifi gave it to me. I think it's fairly expensive. I don't know, but I really like it. So anyway, that's just a little bit of I got that reverse bob type thing, so it's kind of longer in the front. that okay so I'm gonna grab this it's from Kenra it's called Kenra platinum I guess it's for blonde hair because Fifi's hair was blonde when she got it I don't think it's gonna hurt my hair um, but it is sculpting fiber cream and let me say here's what it looks like it smells amazing so basically I'm just gonna use the back of my nail to get about that much on. I'm going to rub it between my fingers really good. 
And I'm basically gonna go in, like in my root section, and just kinda work it in there a little bit. I mean, you can even see like it going to town, like. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing over here, like that root section. I'll do a little bit in the back. This gives a lot more volume when you need volume. Love it, and it smells amazing. It really does. I don't know what it smells like. Oh gosh, I don't know. Berry, like, like the best berries you've ever seen in your life. But anyway, I like to give it a little, you know, messy look. Messy. You know, not all sculpted and stuff. Just a little bit of hot mess look. You know, queen age hot mess. Queen age hot mess. Okay. Boom. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop right there. I like it. Although, the bangs. Anyway, I am. I'm going to stop right there. So, like, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know. I like it. So, I guess that's, that's a good thing, right? It's dark. Um, I always thought dark kind of went well with my complexion because I am kind of pale. It just kind of plays off of each other, especially with a smoky eye look. But, yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. Okay, guys, so um, I'll probably maybe get back on um, before the day is done. Just for a little, maybe one whenever we get out, like getting our coffee and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll be back. First, I was going to show you this shirt. How awesome. Can you see this? Look at this. I will put the company that sent me this shirt down in the description box. They are super cheap, guys. This shirt feels so soft and amazing. This is a men's, I'll put the size I ordered. This is like a men's 3X, I think. It might be a men's 2X. But like, I loved this shirt. And I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and, and promote your shirt. Um, actually, they just send it to me if I put pictures on Instagram. But I'm like, I'm going to wear it today because I really like it. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys. The Grateful Dead. Sunflowers. They sent me another one. Sunflower one that is uh, kind of small. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into it, honestly. Honestly. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, I've decided just to go ahead and end this video just so I can go ahead and get it up and posted. I don't want to wait until later this evening, although I don't know when it's going to post. But anyway, I'm ready for the day and yeah. Just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Consider joining the Gypsy family. Hashtag Gypsy Squad. Queen Ager Club of America. Queen Ager Club of the World. Yes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of it. And um, give me a thumbs up on this video, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.